Hello? Okay, well, at least that's working. Um, I guess the latest update to OBS decided to make Steam Deck not work. I have to wait for Steam Deck to do an update before I can control my OBS from it again, I guess. And my buttons. But that's okay. Alright, so, first things first. Um, I don't know. I'm 90% sure that I will not be doing any No Man's Sky tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the big day of Ark Nights. Where you, uh... The anniversary is coming, and the new banner, and all that stuff. So, most likely, I will not be doing any uh, No Man's Sky tomorrow. I will be totally concentrating on Ark Knights and doing that thing. So, uh, just wanted to give you a heads up there in case you're waiting. Just may want to skip a day. If you're keeping up with the series and everything may want to skip skip a day because most likely no no man's sky tomorrow night all right so next thing to do is let's head down to the circuit board and see how that turned out we'll do a run through of the circuit boards i planted those three things do two of the others two of the solar vine and one of the um Actually, Venom Urchins is what I removed. We start over here at number one. And go through here. One. Number two. And a number three. One to number four. One to number five. One to number six. One to number seven. Means we do the circle. to number eight nine zero which is back to the teleporter which everything's done all right on to teleporter number two Seven. And that should be everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just to, you know, double check. I'm gonna double check, you know. I have to double check just to make sure. Always double your double. If you're in doubt, double check. Yep. Okay. And then we go back. And we're done with teleporter number two. Teleporter number three. One. This thing is moved again. Didn't I remove? Didn't I move one of these like yesterday? Like a three yesterday. See, or I moved like a three yesterday into four to five. 
Okay. Six. Three for seven. Three for eight. Three for nine. And the green arrow back. Should be everything. Yep. That's everything. So we're done with these side. Now to the fort's quarter. Here. Two. Three. Four. Okay. All the way over six. Directly across. Seven. Eight. Number nine. Zero. And back to the teleporter. Yeah, number 10 on the floor. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and that's it in this one. So down on to teleporter. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And you are back here. Everything. All right. That is teleporter number four, five done. On to teleporter number six. Two. Three, two to four, two to five, five to six, did I make a mistake or something? Six. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I'm supposed to go across. Five to six. Seven. Seven to eight. Nine. Nine to zero. To ten, to eleven, to 
into 11. 11 to 12. Back we go. That's, I think, everything on this one, too. Let's see. We have thousand of those. We have still over 10,000 of those. Eight or five thousand that we needed there. Yep, we have everything. So yeah, we uh and also the uh Still works. So I should be able to make 50 at least minimum of each one here. Let's try it out here. So we need to make we need to move all of this down by one. So I need to make the polyfibers. That still leaves me with more than enough cactus flesh for that. Then I need to make the heat capacitor. There we go. Fifty. Fifty of our plants. So we did good. We got it all this time. So let me let me check something real quick and I'll so the original plan was supposed to be 25 Inchino cactus. We're probably rocking around 27 to 30 now. Just to let you know. 50 frost warts, we're probably rocking around 53. 53 between 53 and 55. More towards the 55 end, if I should guess. 100 solar vine, we're now rocking at least 200, if not. 202 to 205 and then supposed to be 200 star brambles we're now 400 and we are 400 even because we're getting the exact amount of 10,000 we're not going over the others were going over a little bit so we're probably have more plants of those than we need to but uh we're at least at 400 even on the star brand And that's to make 50, uh, 50 circuit boards per run through. Now, before I go anywhere, I want to try the other place. So I don't want to go to this one, I think it is. Giving me tool tips. Isn't that freaking interesting? I've noticed, like, there's some kind of bug going on. Certain thing. But this is my mining, so I don't want to go there. Where I want to go... Is I want to go back to... Other tier 3 I have.
be labeled wealthy, be a Viking. So we want to go to this one, which is my first green star system. I want to go to this one because I want to what they'll give me here for this. Because I've been getting like minuses on the other planets. I want to see if there's a difference on this one. So, let's see. I have a trade platform. Yes, it looks like there would be a trade platform over there. On the same planet I'm on. So that's kind of convenient, but the problem is, is it good enough, though? We got two minutes. Let's get out of the atmosphere and pulse open. That's strange. I have no idea why I'm this. Like, really? Is that like too close or something? That is so strange that that's the thing. I... Wow. It's gotta be that... It's gotta be that... Pla yeah, it's gotta be that planet. That's too close to this uh, moon here. It's the only thing I can think of. I go back here. This is a moon, right? No, it's a planetary anomaly. It is Pegasi. So either Uden or this one is too close and is interfering with my pole price. I know I'm out of the atmosphere. I just want to see. I'm I'm gonna sell it to them no matter the price, but I just want to see what it. Minus fifteen actually. So this is actually worse than my other one. The other one was minus thirteen. Thirty-eight million. That's still fine. Sack venom for minus fives. Local trade goods and Gravitina balls for minus eight. Kind of figured they would be if I remember correctly. These are both the same. Did I already talk to you and get your thing? He gave me a scatter blaster. Well, that's nice of him. I don't need that uh, quest though. I might put it on later, but not right now. I'm definitely going to be heading over there. Since I'm exploring so much, it's going to be interesting to see if I get all the glyphs before I finish the quest line. Because you're supposed to on this quest line be getting all the glyphs. As far as everybody keeps telling me, just do the main quest line, the Artemis Path, and eventually you'll get all the glyphs. I thought we would be getting them earlier before we went through that first portal, but apparently not. But you're supposed to get them through this quest line. Shouldn't need to, didn't need to go hunt them down like this. 
But it's going to be interesting to see if I can hunt them down before... Um, before I get them in the, through the quest. Book number seven. There's a uh, building right over there. For this hill. Manufacturing facility? Maybe? Nope, abandoned. Okay. Alright, let's go. How many nanites do I? Oh! Okay, never mind. I was actually going to go and get these things, you know? I was actually going to get these things and get some whispering eggs and get some nanites. I thought I was like down to a thousand, but I'm at nine thousand. I'm fine right now. I don't need. Um, actually... Uh, let's head up to the space station. Then we'll take the portal from there. But I want to go up to um, the space station. I can get... I want to go sell off all these uh, deals. That'll just give me even more nanites. So I ain't got a farm. And it's nice. Um. Okay. Uh, I arrived way faster than I thought I would. We'll go in here. I'll sell all of these uh, upgrades I have upgrade modules and then we'll head over to the settlement and get it done now I am preparing I don't worry oh uh, if you're worried I am not giving up no man's sky I'm still having a lot of fun uh, I'm actually planning on making another farm this coming weekend if you wish to watch it uh, I will be making a farm a sentinel farm uh, if you wish to know I will be using it let me 
I'm pretty sure it's his captains. Uh, let me see here. Yep, his name is Captain Steve. He plays No Man's Sky. And he has a farm I saw about farming sentinels. Uh, you have to find a sentinel pillar and you make a base at it. And you make a very specific type of base. And this is not, not, there's other bases you can do which is actually glitches it and everything and where you can just automatically farm them with stuff. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it where I have a safe, basically I'm making a base next to a Saint Sentinel pillar and saving, uh, and it's the base is there to save me in case I get in over my head. I shouldn't have that problem, but I do want to make it as a proper farm type thing. So we should be able to, if I'm not mistaken, these things should find us. Yeah, these things will find us a sentinel pillar so we don't have to go hunt sentinels and then kill them all to get it to get it to a ruin to rebuild. So we'll do that. The basic premise of that base is you make a safe spot for you to be in and you kill the sentinels. And when they overwhelm you, or you kill enough where they just shut down, you uh, you go into the safe, you go into the base to be safe because they can't get you into in the buildings. Just know that. And then uh, if you kill them all, and you need to reset them, you just reload your last safe point, uh, restore point there, and they will uh, and they'll respawn. Uh, now you could be safe either two ways you can either do the base or you could just go over to the sentinel pillar and deactivate them but i would like to have both options available that's why i'm going to make a safe spot and now we're uh, we're ten thousand um i am going to purchase these except for the underwater I think it's time we had doubles of thing of the protections of the uh, gills. So I think I'm going to start putting doubles down. Also, <laughs> excuse me, my extreme planet is radiation. So I'm going to change out my <clears throat> radiation into the. Um, supercharge slot so I can have that there I'm going to put that there I'm going to put this other uh, radiation one next to it um, we have a fire that I'll put right there but I think I'm actually going to move that there and that there and that there so I need another cold radiation deal to have double of everything I have enough slots slots suit slots for it now that I think this is worth putting in here to double all of our stuff. So we have two radiation, two toxics, two fires, and now we just need one more cold and we can do double cold. If I wish to, uh, let me show you, you can do this. Let me see, I just purchased all of those. So if I go back over here to my ship, get in it, get out to save a restore point, go to options, click reload the reload store point he should have all of his module upgrades back so give me just a second to load back to load back in and we go over here and if we go talk to him and look at his shop he should have us full he should have all those modules again you don't get different modules but you do get the same modules as you can see all again I don't need three right now, but this does make a uh, great time to change the name of that base, which I'll do in just a minute. I'll have to go back to it real quick. Um, I do want to go ahead and check on these guys. I have I don't think I've been to the Exocraft person here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing there, so that's not good. See what you want to do to farm 
your module upgrade is to find a place that has a lot of different S-Class modules that you would want and um, and then uh, do that, farm them like that. And that's how you basically min-max. This is a D-Class, okay. Hi. Bolt caster, geology cannon, plasma launcher, scatter blaster. Please, Jeff. Um, how am I doing for spots? Not that well. Okay, I don't have the spots yet. I would need to get five more spots before I would try putting on the scatter blaster. Um. So I, well, I would need five spots. I need three more upgrades, three more spots to do that. So I won't do that, but he's also, I also need to leave a note that there is a S-class scatter blaster here. So the best way to do that would be to go back to the base in the system and rename the base because it's just named like my first green star system there's nothing special about it um so basically what i could do is go back to bases go to first green star system base and rename it i have a i have name name it for what it is in the system that has good things so we want base computer here and we want to rename it to um tier three so we know that's tier three economy that's the only thing i would put in here i wouldn't ever worry about conflict level or anything like that so tier three will always mean tier three economy tier three economy um uh hazard Mod. Uh, scatter. Mod. Okay. And then I'll just do that. Let me turn that back on. So now we have a tier three has economy with hazard mods, scatter mods. That's another way you can name your base in case you find some place that has a lot of S class modules you would want to do that with. So we've done that now. It is time to exit and go to our settlement because we've got stuff to do over there. I never went back and did more things, so it just it will be exact same thing that we had last time. We're still building that one building for their happiness. I need to give it a second item. Usually you only have to give it two different items. Okay, it looks like we're about to have a storm, of course, right as I get here. Trying to remember. Yes, that is there, but where's that other thing? And as you can see, my technology module, I just had the Mave thing in handy. I don't know where the dance hall thing is. I'm confused that here. No, this is not it. This is the main thing. But there's that, but where's the... There's supposed to be something about dancing, but now I can't find it. Maybe it's only that one thing. We have a visitor. The visitor, planetary specialist Baco, has blockaded themselves in the overseer's office. They will not leave until they're allowed to stay. They claim to be a relic hunter. The security drones have verified their story. You remove signal black spot. Add feature professional relic hunter. One population growth. But we increase our maintenance per day. For unknown outcome. You know what? I don't care. He can stay. Fine with me. We're still, we're still not in debt for it. 
So we get our increased, a, a professional relic hunter gives us increased productivity. And we have the decreased maintenance cost and then increased productivity. We have Sinister AI Overlord, Atmosphere of Suspicion, and Full of Parasitic Eggs that we have to get rid of. So we need to take this and this. Yeah, I just don't see... I don't know where the dance hall was built. can't move until the thing lets me go. Yeah, I just can't see... I don't know where the dance hall went. Or, oh, there's Metal Fingers. Uh, let me mark that. I gotta go. That's a very important thing. I don't think this would be the place. This looks like more like a restaurant or a bar. And uh, a uh, dance club. may be it here. Yep, this is it. This has got the thing on it. It's metal plating. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about this. One. I don't think this thing can pick me up while I'm But I do need to go take care of those metal fingers over there. You can go do that while the storm is going on. So this is going to give me a lot of things. I don't think. As if I can get them in the suit. I may have to get out of the suit. It may need... It may need uh, advanced mining lasers. And I don't think I have that yet on my... Okay. Oh, I got that. Eating. Yeah, here we go. That's actually what I need to put over here. This is my mining laser. So I do have that now. Right. So this is where we get a lot of uh, uranium, gold, like that. We get a ton of it too, as you can see. We're getting so much. Pretty sure that's all of it. 
Yep, that's all of it. So if I go and check, we have 3,000 gold. We got 3,000 gold from that, 4,000 uranium, and 2,000. We have 20. I don't know if that came from it or not. Or it that might have already been in my game. Now, the only thing is, is you can't access your visor in your suit. Ooh. You need to be aware of that. There it is. It's right over there. That's what we're waiting on. Whoa. Yeah, that uh that kicked me way out, didn't it? How much time is left on this thing? Fifty-six minutes. Alright. In fifty-six minutes that should be done. Head over here. Oops. Where's actually the center of town again? It should be this right here. This is always where it like spawns me in, so I'm gonna leave my suit here. I guess we should go and check on the trade terminal uh, deal here. Got anything? Got some nip nip buds in here. We got the illegal black market goods in here. I and go and sell. We got a suspicious package too. Wow, got some things in there for that. That's <laughs> interesting. I mean, it is a black markets uh, area. Where's my? We go check on. Oh. This needs to be actually going to crater. That's me to go to a Viking. Okay. Well, I was in a Viking system before. Um, this one. Base station for that. This one. Oh, so I can't specifically do it in this system. I have to do it in a totally system. Or a specific system, I guess. I'm not sure. Me to go here. Want me to go to Emmett? 
need to go to this. Oh, I can fly there. No problem. Oh, okay. Seems we got a uh, freighter battle going on here. Oh. Okay. Alert. Navigational data received. Damn, I was going to I was trying to get in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is a uh, five-section Sentinel-class ship. Is that, uh, I can't remember what that's called. Not a dreadnought. That's the biggest one. Um, the uh, crater. Crater. Catalog. Battle class. That's port five instead of three. Yeah. So this is the five. This is the five segment. It's the, the earlier one we saw was a three segment one, which is just a sentinel. This one's a five, which a uh, a uh, battleship. Height, which and it's also C class, which is just terrible. Hi. Oh, statement, please. Yep. Oh, they gave me a cargo deal. Ain't that nice? All right, so I need to go here real quick. I need to go to my. Yeah, that's my. Uh, that is a C class solar. Okay. Well. Sorry, fellas, I gotta go. So my settlement is under attack by sentinels right now, so I need to find... Still here. We're not gonna be able to go fast. <laughs> Rank seven with the Viking, that's nice. Not really what I'm interested in right now. I'm ready to. I'm ready to go back. If nothing's going to happen though, the attack does nothing. They shouldn't kill your citizens. As far as I know, they shouldn't. But I do want to go ahead and get back as quick as I can. Uh, should be over here on this side. Yes. Can talk to these guys later. I am going back to my settlement right now. So let's go and take care of this. Piece of dust on my leg. 
Well, won't let me in. And take some mech. Trying to see if I could deal, but that just gets me out of my uh, feet. You can't pop the things while you're in there. Oh, you're going to be here, are you? I'm still winning. Your health is going down faster than mine will. This is the quest I've been waiting on. This is the quest I've been waiting on. A trace of metal. Yep, this is that quest. This gives me my quest I was waiting on. Oh, how about them apples? All right. Let's go over here. This is what I was waiting on right here. Steve and I'm less like that. Well, that's not the point. I have to tell you. Uh, this is the guy from the uh, anomaly. anomaly. Will listen? Oh, your agreement. want me to meet with Iteration Tithis, which means I need to get on to the space station, which we'll go do in a second. Um, ah, I was wondering, I could have swore there was one more out here somewhere. I not remember where I put it. Get back in my exosuit. See, that was a good thing. I, I, it's a good thing it was over here. To the central area because this is where I get put. All right. So, if we're going to be going to the anomaly, I'm going to go into it in the main system. Um, tech packet. Mining beam mod. I'm going to put that up in here. This needs to stay with me. That's a quest item. Keeping that to open these up. Sell that this needs to be put into our freighter, but that's right, our freighter is not here right now because we're about to head towards it. Um, I can actually sell these now, they don't need them. All right, uh, did our exocraft get anything? He got the pump, it's not a big thing, right? All that can stay on them. All right, so let's head over. Yeah, that looks like we're not following that quest. We're following this quest now. So I want to go back to my... Yep. My freighter. But this was the quest line I've been waiting on to do. This will allow us to get our exosuit uh, to be a robot, basically, and follow us around. Um... Basically, it's supposed to be the end goal of this quest. Uh, okay. So, let me get my inventory cleared up real quick. Do you have things to... 
there. There. That stays with me. This goes to be put up. Gas. Pull that. That. This needs to be third in. Crater. Over here and upgrade it. Now I need to go to my ship. I want to be on tracing them. Let's go Vietnam. This way because we're still kind of close to this. Here. Closer. He's off at the next to the portal, so we can just go through go through that little door right there like I do when I go through the portal. I'm out here and I want to go to the pit. Be over here. Here you are. Now we gotta go talk to people. We gotta speak to Traveler Iteration. Not, not Polo in them, but these people, like this person right here. We still need to talk to two more people. And the quickest way, the only other people I know are. Maybe. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to talk to the. He wants me to talk to Polo, which is of course kind of cool, but I want to go talk to you right now. <laughs> 